In this video, I'm showing you my top 10 most useful apps that allow me to get the most value out of my Apple Watch. So sit back and relax and let's get started. So for 2023, I still haven't yet replaced Shazam. Now hear me out. I am fully aware that Siri can identify songs. But the thing about that is you have to request Siri to verbally identify it. There's times and situations where it would just be awkward for me to request Siri to identify what song it's playing. So instead of doing that, I can just tap Shazam and it will actually give me the title of the song but also keep track of that so I could then go back and listen to it or add to my playlist, especially if you're subscribed to Apple Music. It's so integrated, it works extremely well with the Apple ecosystem, which is why it's still my number one pick and makes sense why this is powered by Siri. Well, Siri uses Shazam to identify songs. They have this weird relationship. Now the next app is Overcast. The beauty about Overcast is this allows you to actually directly install podcasts to the Apple Watch bringing you or having you required to use your iPhone to like stream it with the traditional Apple podcast app likes to do. This app you have on demand for him to download certain podcasts that you like listening to. So this app really does allow you to utilize the full 64 gigabytes of inboard storage that your Apple Watch has. So for that reason, this is why I like using this over the native podcast app. Now Pacer. Now before I start highlighting more about Pacer, since you made it this far in this video, make sure you hit that like button to please the YouTube algorithm gods and turn that cool animation on down there for the like. If you could take two seconds to do that, that would be awesome. But Pacer. Pacer basically just allows you to keep track of your daily step goal. If you're a fitness freak like I am, I always like hitting 10,000 steps or more on a daily basis and this allows me to monitor that, especially since it also has a complication support. Yes, you can actually view your steps on the activity app, but it requires you to scroll down. Where was this? You just tap on it. It will give you the information you're looking for. And plus this app is free to download. Then the next app is battery. The cool thing about this battery app is let's say this is how I use it. Actually, I typically will leave my phone behind in a different room charging or just doing something. I just forget it in like the bathroom as an example, and I don't need it because I'm working on my computer. I'm eliminating distractions. But with this app, there's a complication that allows me to monitor my iPhone's battery percentage. This way, when I have to go somewhere and have to grab my phone, I'm not left stranded with a low battery. This app will not only send me a notification when my iPhone is below 25% to give me a heads up, but I can also change the refresh rate right here if I wanted to refresh and update this complication quicker. Unfortunately, it doesn't do one minute, but that's a good thing because I don't want this thing to draw battery life on my Ultra. So because of that, I like using this app because it allows me to monitor my iPhone's overall battery percentage on a daily basis. When it comes to weather, Carrot is probably one of the well-known third-party apps out there, all due to the fact it's funny, it's crazy, it's silly, but it gives you all the important information right here. And if you add this as a complication, it gives you more data information than the standard Apple weather app, as an example. So because of that, I like using Carrot due to its simplicity and funny humor, as you see right here. Now, one of the well-known apps is the remote camera app, of course, on your iPhone. This actually works extremely well. I like it, especially if you use the double tap gesture, you could easily take a group photo hands free. That that's all fun and daily, but there's times where I misplace my phone and instead of being loud and painting it, I like launching the camera app because it gives me a glance where my iPhone is located. So I don't have to disturb others around letting them know that I misplaced my phone. So this allows me to bypass the need of having to play the pin sound on my control center to locate my iPhone. Now, well, Tori is the name of this app. I hope I'm pronouncing that wrong, right? I mean, but I have a text right there. This is a heart tracking app. The beauty about this app is that it not only tracks your overall heart rates, but it will actually tell you right here if you were stressed, good, and other things right here. If you enjoy like a lot of like sleep data or overall stress level environment, like your health journal, this app allows you to track all this and it's free. So. 41% stress, 66 stress. It basically gives you a breakdown. So knowing that you are stressed, you're less likely to continue being stressed. One of those wellness apps. And because of that, this is why I recommend this one. There's a premium, but you don't need to pay for this one. 
Now a thing that I'm sure we all do every morning, at least I hope, is brushing our teeth, as well as every night. This complication allows me to start a two minute timer and it will actually tell me where to brush my teeth and it will actually buzz me when it's time to switch to the other teeth. This way I'm always brushing my teeth to the recommended amount which is two minutes and I'm covering all my teeth. So instead of buying like external sources or those overpriced toothbrushes, you can use your basic dollar toothbrush and just compare it with this free to download app and you have all the expensive toothbrush features because of this aside from the vibration is but that depends on your toothbrush that choice you're currently using so no more cavities always have good teeth good gums with this app and it's free to download now one of the most underestimated apps i think is probably the calculator app the calculator app is on the apple watch which is crazy because on day one this was not available it was until watch was six i believe when it got released to the apple watch but yeah, you have a full row calculator here. And if you go into the settings and you select the calculator, you can switch it between tip percentage as well. So if you dine a lot with friends and family, you could divide it between different people. So you get the exact amount, how much they should pay Venmo you. Another native app is voice memos. I used to recommend just press record. This app works extremely well and stuff. It's just, you have to pay a one-time purchase, but this is built into your app, your Apple Watch and it also supports a complication as well. I like having voice memos available on hand, it allows me to record things that come to mind without me having to actually take notes or type it in and also is a great way to uh, record things in case of a legal action or situation if that makes sense. Of course with consent depending on the state where you live. Now this next app is uh, called Heart Analyzer. The beauty about this app is again, not only is it free to download, but if you work out a lot, you find yourself at the gym a lot and you want to get a good, correct type of workout, eliminate like unnecessarily long breaks. This complication, if you select the asshole well, complication on your watch face, allows you to monitor your heart rate. So you can make sure your heart, your blood is still pumping to keep you warm and you don't cool off and having to warm up again when you complete another set. So this is a cool little clever complication that allows me to monitor that so I don't take like three or five minute long breaks. I'm making sure I'm keeping track an eye out on my current heart rate as I work out. And there we have it. Those are some clever ways to really utilize your Apple Watch to its full potential and make daily life easier. I'll be sure to include links to those third party apps in the description down below. And in case you're curious what type of accessories I have, I also will have this band in the description as well. For more, make sure to check out this video over here where I cover 40 amazing tips and tricks and hidden features that the Apple Watch can do. Thank you so much for watching.